Diddy, you cheeky monkey, what are you doing back at Candy's? Yeah, you old... I can explain. Sly chimp. She, she, she was just helping me with my algebra. Oh yeah, what kind of algebra? Uh, to help me, help, help me divide my melons? <laughs> oh, okay, that's cool. Ouch. So what are we doing today, James? So today we will be showcasing our third member of the DK crew. No, not Port, not Lanky, though he will get his time to shine later. Actually, <laughs> oh. we're showing off Tiny Kong today. The theater. She is oh. the spunky, not Dixie of the crew. Yeah, yeah, it's and she's 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 got double the ponytail power that Dixie had. Granted, her ponytails aren't quite as long, but she can still make the most out of them. Especially later on, once you know she starts learning how to hover with them, much like her big sister. They are still right. banana-like, and that is a okay. So, uh, so her her main oh color, primary color of a. Uh, Collectibles will be purplish, pink, uh, magenta, uh, it, 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 pure, pure and simple purple. Okay. So I Which, hear. I mean, the, in, whenever I think of, whenever I see like all the purple bananas, I immediately think, are those supposed to be like grape flavored or candy coated? Well, no, granted, the candy coated ones are lankies. Hey, have anyone ever like seen it? Or like the blue bananas oh, are like, like cotton candy can be depicted as being either purple or blue. I usually see it as pink or blue. Just I I don't know it's like, so I guess yeah I'd have to be either yeah I, I, especially looking at the coin that that here like here's the thing of like growing up like grape flavored drinks grape flavored like fruit snacks they never tasted like grape I I literally called them like purple flavored because that is fair like because it, it never tasted like grapes to me and oh jeez oh oh yeah oh oh uh good thing it's only That's, temporary. yeah so um true to Tiny's namesake uh her very first ability she can learn from Cranky Kong is to shrink. Yep. Yeah, I would say. It, um, basically, this uh, takes the uh, Clockwork Kazooie Egg kind of um, camera control, and without having to use a projectile, it allows us to right away go... So I like this. Again, like, they were building up, up, up from this, and as far as, like, all that happened between Kazooie and, you know, now, and I think, was Conquer the last big platformer, or was this... Uh... On the N64, yes. So, like, between then and Conquer, like... They really did push the N64 to its limits at times, I think. Oh yeah, no, that like, I mean, that's pretty much been their MO since they started using the thing. <laughs> Don't worry, she'll be okay. So actually, now that we do have Tiny on standby and we have her mini monkey ability, now it's about high time we actually go pay a visit to our friendly neighbors, the Banana Fairies. The whistling Banana Fairy just... I'm sorry, that's just what the frickin', that's what the thing looks like to me. You know, I can never get any sleep with that dang whistling out there <gasps> in the distance. Oh, we never got our gun. Not yet, oh. and actually Tiny's is special in that her uh, firearm is actually not based on any particular fruit. It, hers is just regular old feathers. Oh yeah, she gets a crossbow. But mini. It, it, seems, it seems about the right kind of um, gun, gun for the, uh, for the female, um... Demographic for the female for the female Pocahontas thing. Yeah, let's Pretty go much. visit the. Let's go visit. Uh, okay, guilty pleasure, remarkably cute design that this game has. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, the bears are they're perfectly harmless. Hello, hi, hi. hi, cute. That's the mom of the banana fairies, and unfortunately, she's going on a never-ending crying spree because all her children went missing. There was a huge tremor, and it scared all of my completely optional banana fairies. Sure, they're optional. I think uh, they are. I, actually, I think they are uh, optional. Though, though that being said, it is within your best interest to find them because they are what unlock a good majority of this game's extra stuff. Gotcha. All right. This is the idea is that like they are what will be, they are basically the key to our quiver upgrades and stuff like that. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. And for a total one hundred percent completion, uh, we'll want to collect every single one of the banana fairies. Oh boy. By using um, a very special banana skin film. Photograph. Okay. Um. It doesn't seem a little bit contrived. Contrived, but you gotta admit they must they have, they must have a very savory aroma. And they're one hundred percent edible. To <laughs> savor the memories and I don't know. So. Oh, and uh, not only do we get a not only do we get a banana skin camera from her, we also get the ability to charge up our regular attack into and to unleash a shockwave, which can you know hurt enemies that are within your vicinity, 
But also oh. unearth uh, unearth stuff from all those dirt patches we've been coming across. Yeah, so that's how that works. And um, what that basically, uh, we'll more on what that will unlock later. But yes. <laughs> and uh, yes, somehow Tiny, you know, told all the other people. And do you count? <laughs> no, but does. you know what? Let's savor the memory. Well, now, can you rude. use the? I know the I know Pokemon Snap had an N64 like you know photo. Th did this have any sort of like photo printing like connectivity mm -hmm. elsewhere? Nope. The camera is primarily a gameplay element and nothing more. Darn. Gotcha. S strictly for the fairies. Okay. And tr and much like everything else, those two run under its own ammo. So be careful. <laughs> there are, yeah, yeah, the game. Hmm. But again, pushing it like. I, how to put it like if this was on the PS2, well, I don't think I would have like you mean GameCube? linked at, or GameCube. But I, just regardless, if it was in that generation, I don't think I would have been as of like. Oh, Whoa. oh! And this oh. right here is pretty much what breaks the freaky banana coin economy in this game because those give five coins to every single Kong. So already, whenever we save him, Chunky Kong is already you know invested in. Oh yeah, no, he's got he's got fat 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 stacks of uh, unripened banana coins waiting for him. I just imagine I like know. he gets out of jail, then all of a sudden he's like, "Oh look, I got a nickel in my pocket." <laughs> I beat the that, game. Oh, that's right. Oh no, yeah, that's right. With unripe, yeah, more on that with his banana color later. So, um, the uh, yeah, no, but 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 again, like if this had come out on the GameCube generation, I would not have been as impressed because you know that could have a lot of stuff like fit in to those games, but. Um, apart from absolutely requiring a RAM uh, memory upgrade, otherwise this thing would have crashed. Yeah, again, oh it's, it's, so, it's it's one of those cases that I'm still wondering... Actually, no, I, I remember, again, it was like a memory leak, and, like, I assume they didn't have enough time to fix it, so that's why they were lucky enough to just find that, you know, loophole with the uh, expansion pack. Yep, and... Uh, otherwise, this game, I... otherwise, this game's not really pushing the game, like, the actual graphical boundaries as much as as it could have. Hey, That's cool. Okay, okay, talking over him, though, because we're just getting, because again, we're just getting ourselves a cool, uh, you know, crossbow gun. Um, I had I, this one myself. I was, aw, I will admit, I was not, I was not old enough at the time this game came out to be the one buying my own games and stuff. That was, you know, the old days of like, you know, oh my gosh, it's Christmas or whatever. That's yeah. honestly the same case with me because uh, I do just distinctly remember when I got my N64, my own N64, because for the longest time I was primarily playing like those like N64s that were like that belonged to people I, that were babysitting me at the time. Yeah. And I eventually got my own, and I distinctly remember getting three games that Christmas: Mario 64, Mario Kart 64, and Donkey Kong 64. Huh? But uh, but but basically, it's just like I'm one nice. Basically, I'm just like I'm confused, or I I'm not sure if having the memory pack included unintentionally like upped the price. It might have upped the price, as far as I'm aware. I mean, it's definitely it was definitely going to be a loss for Nintendo either way. Yeah, let me look into that. Uh, but uh, you, uh, how about you, Hyde? Uh, how about me? What now? What are uh, your thoughts on? What are, what's your hip thoughts on Tiny Kong? Yeah, why not? Uh, She's a perfectly harmless character. Like, I will admit, though, I brought up a few times that I know, like, Matt tried to defend it, but honestly, I feel like there really is kind of, like, no excuse why they couldn't have used Dixie for this. Uh, I mean, maybe. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of on the same boat, because, like, for all intents and purposes, everything Tiny can do in this game could easily be applied to Dixie Kong. They prob I think they only just did this because, you know, they just wanted to try a fresher face. And, I mean, I can also understand because... If I'm not mistaken, Donkey Kong 64 was primarily uh, designed by people that have had no prior experience with the Donkey Kong stuff. Yeah, I guess I would explain Kong. why it feels like a completely different beast. Like not just e not even just in terms of gameplay. Well, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look into this some more, but I will say that um, let's see. I, I mean, and for those wondering, it, it was a, I guess stated that she is she is outright she's Dixie's younger sister. Yes. Uh, Although so in the later games, she doesn't look quite as young. <laughs> Yeah, because of that weird redesign. But anyway, so as I'm looking into this, um... Thanks, Nintendo. My guess... Careful. My my only guess as to why they, um... As to why they uh, maybe used Tiny instead was because they were still trying to, you know, catch lightning in a bottle with that whole idea of, oh, let's... Let, let's continue to have people... Nice. 
Let's have people uh, look at our new Congo Seas every new game. Yeah, and I mean, say whatever you will about Donkey Kong 64, uh, the DK crew in its, its entirety has honestly been a little more prolific in the, the, this day and age, more so than, say, Kitty Kong. Huh, and yeah. apparently she has, and she does have an official voice actress. Uh, yeah, Evelyn Fisher. Yep. I mean, she's pretty. She's pretty much been the de facto feminine voice for a good handful of Rare's games, whether it be this or Killer Instinct. Uh, I don't know if she voiced Tootie in um, Banjo Kazooie, but I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. I feel like she might have at least voiced Humba. It's possible. I can see that. Yeah, I could see that. Again, like Rare's, Rare's whole thing about you know voice acting in general is that they just had their in-house staff do all the work, and it's like, give them credit, they really knew what they were doing. Up until Diddy Kong Racing DS. <laughs> well, that wasn't... Well, at that point, you could argue that, like, it wasn't exactly the same rare. It wasn't. Like, it really was not. Which is a shame, too, because, again, that's the same people that did all those GBA ports for Donkey Kong Country, and those are, like, you know... The, the crispiness of the sprites aside were really solid. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, for, the, for the majority of this part, we will be uh, backtracking through Jungle Japes and Angry Aztec with Tiny Kong now that we have her at our disposal. Yeah. You know, I, I brought up the notion before, but say we ever do get another 3D Donkey Kong game and they decide to, like, explore, like, a similar type of, like, ideas they have with 64, just, you know, iron them out, and that includes, like, the idea of, like, multiple playable Kongs. Like, what roster would you have for, like, a, a, a DK64 successor? Like, who would you keep, who would you replace, and so on and so forth? I would I would want to bring back... I, I mean... I mean, I would want to bring back... Ow, I would want to bring Actually, back Dixie Kong just because of, you know, how prevalent she was in the franchise up until then, and even now, given Tropical Freeze. Oh, yeah, no, Dixie Kong's, Dixie Kong's relevancy has never been higher, especially with the likes of Tropical Freeze and, even now, Mario Kart Tour. So I'm looking to... Oh, also, I'm looking to this right now. So apparently, um... Hell, they so, even put her in the goddamn Square Enix uh, b basketball game for the DS. Oh, yeah. And she, oh, yeah, and she also... Right, she, was also in, she was also in Super Sluggers. That too. A, but, uh, a good handful of the, 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 of the Donkey Kong family, the Kong family, was in uh, Super Sluggers. There was her. There was her. There was Tiny Kong, Funky Funky Kong, and uh, the Kremlings. King K. Rule, who was wearing that Egyptian outfit, right. which honestly isn't really that bad of an outfit. Yeah, it was interesting. There was no devil name reason for it, but it was a nice look. Well, to be fair, it's about, it's about as much. It's about as much of a what the fuck sort of thing as oh. you know Tiny's redesign. That's and uh, don't worry, we're, don't worry. Whenever you're in a small place like this, uh, the game Mom Acne will uh, not consume crystal coconuts. Oh yeah, no. There are like multiple instances throughout the game where, whether it's usually uh, relegated to a challenge or you know condensed spaces like this, where the crystal coconut meter will completely go on infinite because they know if you if you start to go in a timer, it would be kind of bullshit. Right. I think you that one. There, there, I, I noticed there seems to be some there has there, there seems to be some uh, amount of an auto aim with the grenades just to help you there is. out of it. It's, it's very it's a little on the faint side, but yes, they do home in on certain enemies. But yeah, so looking at here real quick about Dixie Kong. So according to this like official wiki thing, uh, at some point Rare actually explained that canonically what was happening was. Uh, because she plays the electric guitar in that one uh, victory animation DKC2 uh -huh. three, uh, that apparently during the events of a DKC of DK64, oh my God, there we go. Uh, oh, apparent, apparently during the events of DK64, she was off somewhere else, like off abroad, trying to pursue a singing career. Well, you know what? Cute. That would really explain the opening of Donkey Kong the Two. Where she yeah. actually doesn't end up coming back as DK and Diddy were into their bongo phase. And yeah, she yeah. just so happens to come in when they, you know, they were starting to get a little rusty with their practice. And Dixie's like, okay, you numbskulls, let me show you how it's really done. And just blows yeah. everyone away. So, yeah, so that's how that works. So I guess that's what was going on. But, uh, but still, yeah, I mean, definitely have her. I mean, Lanky Kong is a meme, so we got to have him. Um, <laughs> yeah, Chunky, I don't know, but but is I would say I would say I would say Chunky would make more sense to bring back than Kitty Kong. Definitely, I, I would I would honestly have I would honestly be okay with having Cranky Kong playable like he was in Tropical Freeze. 
Yeah, I mean, honestly, this, as sad as it is for me to say, in this day and age, there's not much of a reason to really keep most of the DK crew, just because a lot of them are mostly just, you know... They sort of feel redundant compared to other tried and true Kong family members. Like, again, Tiny is very much a photo... It's, it's kind of like a... It's pretty much a, Carbon you know... Copy. Carbon copy of Dixie Kong, right down to the fact that she's her sister. Mm -hmm. um, then you got Chunky Kong, who's the brute strength, even though that's always been DK shtick. Right. Um, and pretty Don much the same thing with Kitty Kong. Yeah, honestly, a lot of Chunky Kong's moves could have been given to DK just as much. Um, oh, yeah. Like, it's kind of... Like, that especially holds true if you also are a fan of the logic of how much of a ruthless bastard he was in uh, Jungle Beat. Yeah. yeah. There's like, that. there is absolutely... He takes no fucking prisoners, and I love it. Oh, you it's know like, what? I think what you could do is that, like, if we're gonna have, like, Cranky back, and depending on how much you want to utilize Funky, you can have, like, Chunky be the one running the shops, and he'd be, like, a, you know, like, the, the stereotype of, like, the big brute that became a pacifist. Oh, whoa. <laughs> well, to be fair, I mean, to be fair, they sort of already play with the idea that, despite his brute, you know, having the strength of Atlas, he is, like, he's like that big brute with a heart of gold. Yeah. Right? And, we'll you know, a, and a brain full of rocks. <laughs> yeah. Also, whoa. Uh, oh, yeah, but it's about high time we capture our first banana fairy. Sure thing. Uh, so this can be a very fickle process. Oh, so in this case, it was actually pretty easy. What you Yay. need to do is that the banana fairy needs to be at the exact center of the camera, and then you gotta take the shot. In which case, you'll be counted for it, and the banana, fair the banana fairy mother will be so grateful for what you've done that she'll actually, um... She'll actually, um, boost the amount of uh, crystal coconuts and film you can have on, on hold. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Okay. That, and she uh, also auto-refills all your other stuff. Hey, James. What's up? Uh, I apologize for potentially, uh, talking- I mean, we can talk about this real quick, uh, That's Did fine. you hear about the new thing that literally got announced, like, minutes ago? What was that? What happened minutes ago? Uh, apologies for this. I mean, it's not gonna really, like, date the video too much, because, I mean, it's a new thing. Definitely not gonna get can cancelled. Uh, they announced a new arcade collection coming to Switch. Uh, what's the oh, arcade? I think I know what you're talking about. Is it the one that Blizzard up and released? Yeah. <laughs> the one that also happens to have a game we did a look at of not that long ago. Yeah, it has Lost Vikings and Rock and Roll Racing. And... Huh. Well. <laughs> but it has well... no online multiplayer, so, I mean, this it was the best way we could have done it anyway. I mean, to be fair, it's kind of nice to see that Lost Vikings can still have some relevancy in this day and age. Yeah, and uh, oh my god, we got loaded from all those color coins earlier. Yeah, no, again, those dirt patches will literally give us more coins than we know what to spend them on. Just Saxophone. Sorry about that slight little detour. Just got ping on the right and was like, they've returned. <laughs> but no, um... They really have. And I mean, yeah. they, they, really sell, they really sell their soul on that factoid in... Uh, I forget that one other game they recently appeared in, but they just went all went on on a tirade about the fact that Blizzard brought them back to this silly little card game. Oh right, yeah. But yeah, uh, t so yeah, Tiny gets to rock it, rock herself a saxophone, and I mean, she it, she rocks it pretty well. So yeah, we have our so so. I mean, following in her sister's musical footsteps, we're gonna. So, and I mean that. So that is why this video is gonna be a little bit longer than the others, is because we basically need to play catch up with all these other stages we've already been exploring so far. Yeah, and actually, now that I stop and think about it, I just realized something that also kind of makes the fact that Dixie's inclusion in this game feel a little weird. Like, mm -hmm. so for the sake of this game, they gave Diddy Kong the guitar, even though it was already pre-established that was Dixie stick more so, whereas uh -huh. Diddy was more the beatbox. Yeah, oh, that's right, yeah, yeah, I remember that, the variant with the I'm rap. I'm surprised they didn't the... bring that back as a uh, as one of the musical instruments, quote-unquote. Well, I feel Actually, like they probably heck. did that because they wanted them all to have, like, actual instruments. I mean, true. Though that, at that point, you may as well give, you may as well give Dick, Diddy Kong the megaphone. Mm -hmm. He just, like, yells at everyone, being all like, Hey! <laughs> Party! Careful! Uh, how, do, do enemies deal more damage, or are they more lethal when they are when we're tiny? Uh, uh, no, they. I think they hit the hit the same amount. Okay. Honestly, there. Aside from the, uh, the obvious speed gimping, you're pretty much. There's pretty much. A, you're pretty much a. Well. Come on. Okay. There you go. Little tank. Okay. Right. 
Or not, not a little tank, but that's basically, what it's a tank. Basically, it literally is just our it's it literally is just our hitbox getting a little bit smaller, and that's about it. Right. Well, you're more at an advantage when you're tiny than not. Don't spook us like that. Again, it's just a matter of oh yeah, no, this part's pathetic. Oh, oh boy, that was the horde. That was the horde. Okay. <laughs> I love how those other chatter teams just stop there for a moment, just being wow. on like, well, I lived a good life. Crack. Well, I guess I'll die. Well, this is it. No, that was the end of the road for us, isn't it, Jim? That's right, since the other chatter teeth and they both just... <laughs> well, it's not known you, Clem. God, no, it's not. <laughs> Imagine if... Cra if I mean, I, I remember seeing at least one point where it was confirmed that Cranky's wearing dentures. Imagine if instead of freaky, do do you know, typical clock stuff, he actually tried to use a clap track uh, dentures. <laughs> I you know, like he, he would use yeah. that whenever he wants to try to intimidate somebody, take out his dentures, and just put in a devil lane bear trap. <laughs> also, can I just... Can I, I, God damn it, that also reminded me. Go ahead. Just... Okay, I understand there was some case that he wanted to give Dixie and Cranky something that Diddy had with his peanut pop gun. Uh -huh. <laughs> Giving Cranky a fucking denture gun <laughs> was fucking oh, yeah, that's... weird. Oh, yeah, that's right, because, like, I know, like, Dixie had, like, a bubblegum gun that shoots out little gumballs. Right. Yeah. And then you got Cranky, who literally just shoots out dentures out of his cane. Yeah, that's... Well, yeah. well that's interesting that he shoots him out of the cane instead of having his own gun. Although, I think what I love is that, like, not even just that, but whenever you do, like, the ground pound with each character, like, like you know how, like, DK just slams the ground, Diddy just rapidly shoots the ground? Like, Dix Dixie will just, like, slam her ponytail back and forth, but Cranky, he just goes all primal and starts slamming it while going, like... <laughs> so now... Yeah, it's beautiful. So now... I mean... Uh, 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 what, am I, what am I trying to think of? So I think say, I didn't forget about you. And and, and just to remind myself, so how do you, I? I because I almost never played as them in two D, you know, two player mode or whatever in Tropical Freeze. Like, was it just that was their new neutral attack, or it was basically their means of? It's basically their means of, you know. Uh, oh. oh, I think okay. some. There it goes. It was a graphical hiccup. Not it, it, it was completely okay. within the game's own fault. But I'm all gotcha. the, But yeah, no, I think they only did that just so they. Just did that be so that they, they can give them something that Diddy already had in his peanut pop gun. Yeah, that's fair. So, uh, how now what we're doing here? Yeah, I do anything here with this dude. He's all cool. Okay. And so, blue. Uh, Oops. So, while we're doing this stuff here, like, is there a level that's particularly kind of like mean about like its backtracking? Not in the, not in the sense of like. Like, oh, like, for instance, we were talking about, like, there's this one water-based level up ahead, like, coming up that sucks because it's, oh, oh, we can just walk on lava, why not? And, well, anyway. Yeah. Um, but it's, like, there's a water level uh, arriving soon where, uh, it, it, the, uh, the ability to jump from Kong to Kong happens a lot more frequently there than anywhere else, but, um, mm -hmm. but what I'm trying to say, uh, is there a level that's, like, cool? This level, you need to wait until you go to like five cranky huts to get all your powers, then come back to this level. But then you have to go. That just opens the door where you need to now use all your other crank. Is there a level that kind of gets like that where it's like. Like Banjo Kazooie, you can pretty much do everything in one run without ever having to come back with another power up. Except for like uh, maybe one or two jiggies. Go, yeah, I Gobies and Freeze Easy was always good. Eh. But yeah. What's, what's funny is, is that much like Banjo Kazooie before it. This game actually gives you. Uh, this game is actually the only thing. The only thing. The only gatekeeping this game mostly does, for the most part, is just with the Kongs in general. Like, Cranky, uh, the abilities that Cranky gives you throughout the worlds are usually a, a, a majority of which is pretty much all you need for the sake of most of it. Um, that being said, though, it does have a very similar guilty bit that Banjo Kazooie also had, where one particular ability that you need in order to get the golden banana also requires getting a a, a, a potion from, from a later level. And it, and sure enough, it's the exact same fucking thing that Banjo-Kazooie did. Oh no, where one stage has the thing that you need from the other stage, which has to go back and on oh, nuts. And the best part is, it's for a race. Huh. It's literally the- they literally pulled the same shit I hated in the first game, a second time. 
Though that being said, though, that's the only real, like, guilty, guilty example I can think of, of, you know, locking, locking you out of a golden banana that requires a later levels, um, uh, cranky potion. Right. I know there's a better way I could have worded that, but that's about, the, my, my mind went off to lunch. It's okay, yeah, it's, it's okay, we're just, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a temple scenario, and where is that banana fair, there he is. Uh, oh yeah, this is this is probably this is where banana fairy catching me the um, the most annoying because some banana fairies are on fucking speed. Oh yeah, that one. It's it's very finicky. If sometimes it feels like you shouldn't have gotten them, other times, oh wow, that counted and. Like oh yeah, no, oh. there are going to be times where catching them can be a very it can be the best described as a happy accident. <laughs> Pretty much. I right, careful. There's some great grenades. Um, but I guess, uh, going off of, uh, stuff we were talking about earlier with the other, uh, DK stuff, um, did you have any memories with the N64 hype? Um, this like game first in particular? Not, well, just in general, like, because we just, it ended up, just because earlier we ended up accidentally kind of surfacing memories of, like, oh, the old times of when I got gifted this and had to, like, all that stuff, like, your thought, like, any of those kind of just come forth well... from the recesses of your mind? I remember years ago, back, I think it was back while well, I was still in elementary school, my mom used to, like, have me, like, spend the mornings over with a school friend of mine. He had an N64. I think that was the first time I ever got to experience games like Mario 64 and Mario Kart. Oh, okay. And I, I think he also had Star Fox 64. I, I, I'd have to, like, scrape the back of my mind to make sure I'm thinking right. That's fair. Oh no, we're gonna die. <laughs> we're not gonna make it! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh! Oh, oh you almost whoop. ducked under. Oh, that. Well. That's it? I think what oh, happened God. there is. Oh, okay. okay. I'm <laughs> out. <laughs> I was like, the, the hell was that? I think what happened there is that because I was still in the middle of my sliding animation, I guess it might have gimped the full power of that shot because normally that is supposed to be an instant kill. I was gonna say, like. Otherwise, what's this? Otherwise, where's the suspense? But yeah, trust wow. me, it'll you'll see you'll see a more logical a more logical end conclusion to that scenario later on in the game. Hey, squawks! Now, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to see one of the more horseshit to get golden banana challenges in the game? Oh, I think I know what's coming up here. Also, that's why we had to be small. Otherwise, squawks would never been able to pick us up. Yeah, because because tiny at a regular size wouldn't would be too heavy for the poor guy. Here he is. Um, That's a thing. It's a oh, thing. it's only you, Tiny. Yeah. Well, if you can beat me to the bottom of my slide and collect 50 coins, I suppose you can have my golden banana. Use the control stick to steer, push forward to speed up, and pull back to slow down. Don't blame me, though, if you end up careening off the slide at any point. What? No. It's your no. own fault for it happening in the first place, not so much the game. See ya! And, uh, yeah, it, it's always the tricky part of, like, uh, oh! Whoops. Yep. Case in point. And, uh, if you Winning. Ever, Last place. Retired. And, ever, <laughs> and this is what up. happens. He laughs in your face. I thought he was tiny. You're just too slow! <laughs> well, at, least, at least we have to do it right away again, but, uh... A little longer than a few minutes. Yeah. <laughs> this part sucked. It's, I it's tricky, because so. it's, like, you have to, like... You have to do, you have to do, it, just in general, like, the concept of, it's a race, but don't go too fast, otherwise you're yeah, missing a lot of stuff. Basically, whatever you've seen us do with Plessy in Super Mario 3D World, you pretty much, it, pretty much take that and multiply it by two, I guess. How is the you handling on the sliding oh here? Oh, Very yeah. slippery. Yeah, I can question. imagine, just, you know, you make the Plessy comparison, now for some reason I have this mental image of DK Diddy... Uh, tiny the Mikey riding on top of Ch Chunky like he's Plessy. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. But yeah, no, just it, it, oh, it would be bad enough having to deal with the, the obstacle course in and of itself, but you also, again, you're also tasked with collecting 50 DK coins along the way, and it is very well possible for that bug to literally ram into you and make you drop some of those coins. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's a hitbox thing too, and if you, yeah, so if that happens, it's very possible to be in a situation of well, congrats. There is no more. Co there are no more coins to build up fifty. But uh oh, you can, we can literally be going through dead Kong walking syndrome at that yeah. point. Anyway, Ooh, the thing I just now the, the thing I just now remembered at the very end is we mentioned everyone riding on top of a big chunky Kong. It, 
By the time this goes up, it won't be a spoiler anymore. But just, I I imagine, especially because we have to be big Chunky Kong by the end of the game and stuff to, you know, deal the final blow. Oh, what if, damn it. What, yeah, what if instead it was just a giant Chunky Kong doing a belly flop on K. Rool <laughs> while that operetta section kicks in? Okay. That would have been a much more satisfying climax, I'll definitely say that much. Yeah, actually, yeah, that's true. The... Oh, well. So, that being uh, said, ladies and gentlemen, I think Tiny, it's about time Tiny took a break, and we're going to get a funny face fresh enough for the next part of Donkey Kong 64. Yeah. Ook. Get funny. <laughs>